Hi Blender fans and welcome to a Blender DC. In today's tutorial we're going to make this daisy. Right you can see daisies in the background but these are less detailed. I'm going to show you two ways to actually make the daisy nice and quick. But the first one is a bit lengthy but I'm just going to actually show you how we do this. Um, this daisy took quite a lot of modelling. Maybe it took me half an hour to an hour to do. But what we're going to do is show you the technique how you can make this and then it's up to you if how much detail you want to actually add to your daisy i'm also going to show you a quick way to actually create a similar daisy for the background so let's begin right first of all for this tutorial we need an image right the image and uh, it's on my community tab so if you actually go on my video hit the little uh, bunny rabbit here Go into Cumulus tab on my channel and you'll find this daisy. Right, this daisy is a ping daisy and a ping daisy has an alpha transparency. Right, I actually took this, uh, the picture of this daisy while I was on a walk the other day. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. And as you can see, that's the daisy. And what I've done is I've actually cut it out and actually made some of its parts transparent and this is what we're going to use all you've got to do to actually download this daisy is you right click save image as and this will fetch up this bar and this will allow you to actually save it anywhere you want but that's free to download and i just took a picture of it while i was out on my walk with my dogs so you know you pick inspiration from wherever you find it so we've got this, so first of all we want to make this centre of our daisy. Right, so X to delete and we're just going to add an object and the simple object we're going to add in is a mesh and it's going to be a UV sphere. I'm just going to scale this like that and we're going to quickly make our daisy. So I'm just going to, have got point select, line select and face select. I'll select, select this point in the middle and I'm just going to X and vertices x is delete and things for vertices the reason i'm doing that is that's where i want the back side of my um uh, g and z the back side of my flower to come out and that's where me stalk's going to come out so this of course is the actual top of my or the center of my flower right click to shade smooth and i'm simply just going to add in the the image that we've got there that's got the actual transparencies on. So go on to here and we're going to add an image I've got there which is the material properties. We've added an image and what we want to do is go to um, base color and we're going to go onto image texture and we're going to open the daisy that we actually saved earlier on just like that. So as you can see, it's loaded me daisy, but there's nothing happening there. And that's because we've not gone onto rendered viewport shading. Or you can actually go on the other one, which is viewport shading at the side. So we've got this, as you can see, it's not showing the transparency. So first of all, let's set up the transparency. So go on to shading. This one, that uh, image, already has an alpha transmission on it so we can actually just go from here down to there and we can go into alpha as you can see now blender will make this part of this clear but not until we do one of two things so we're going down here going to the material all the way down there you go puppy that's my dog just come in and uh, what we're going to do is go into here uh, and we're going to put alpha clip there and alpha clip there and as you can see that's now got the that texture that we put on there and it's been put onto our center of our flower press the seven key to look from the top our object's still there it's just part of, it, part of it's invisible. So let's actually put the center of our flower onto our image. So that's where you go into UV editing. Go on to here. 
7 to look from the top and we're just going to select the actual image that we got there earlier just going to go to the actual uh, render mode there so you can actually see this again and tap to go into edit mode A to select and view and then project from view as you can see that's now put that there press the A key to select all and we're just going to scale this up a bit and G and move it into oops control Z just to undo G and move it into position there and select it pressing the tab key and back out of edit mode so quickly and easily we've just made the center of our flower and I'm just going to go into the layout again I've got the center of our flower and I'm just going to select this ring down here and we're going to add in one more color go back up here add another color in and I'm just going to make this a simple green yeah, it comes up there we go new and make this a simple green lot of roughness I want it to be quite dull and then I'm just going to grow the selection so I've got this ring selected here by pressing the alt key you can actually select this ring call this ring I'm going to select this ring here control and plus 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 just until it's in about the right place and I'm just going to color this in green by hitting the assign key so we've now got the center of our flower and if we were to actually just select this we can just E and Z and just extrude in the Z and we've got the bottom of our daisy so looking from the top what we're going to do now is add a petal to the daisy so I'm just going to add in an image and the image is going to be a background in fact make it a reference image reference image so back to the place where you start to save the daisy you can find it yep there it is select your daisy I'm just going to scale this up until it's about in the right position just moving it into place and just scale it like that so we've got that and that's just a, a reference image and what we're going to do is use this reference image to add in a mesh and we're going to add in a plane and what we're going to do is actually make one of these petals so seven just to look from the top and I'm just going to G and move that rotate it like that scale it down till it's more or less tiny like that and quickly and easily what we're going to do is go into edit mode and we're going to get the rough shape so I'm just going to G just to move that to there because we're looking from the top we're only moving in one plane so make sure you're looking from the top by pressing the 7 key and I'm just going to actually move that down to the other point there move that to this point there and move this point there right what we're going to do because there's an alpha transparency on these we can actually pre-and the outside of things so now what I'm going to do is we're going to just select these edges and we can actually extrude these out or what I prefer more to do is actually I'm going to actually put a loop cut in here Control and R and just put a few loop cuts the more you want the actual flower pet flowers to bend the more you want this to actually uh, be shaped so I'm just going to move these to where I want them so looking from the top moving that point by pressing the G key and I'm just moving things out just to follow the edges of my petal as you can see most of these petals have got a couple of lines down them 
and we're going to actually do that in a second and then we're going to do that a nice easy way to be honest so i'm just following the actual shape of the petals roughly like that and as you can see we've got our petals or our petal and then with the actual top one selected to put our two lines in there in fact i'll do it somewhere in the middle just make it easier control and r and just roll the mouse button down to actually put the two lines on there and if i go to the side like this and if i go g and c what i can do is move them down there so as you can see the petals getting a shape to it and g and z just to move it up so we've got a petal as you can see and shade smooth i've made our petal all right to get the pattern of the petal on there what we need to do is add that texture that we created earlier like that and as you can see the old daisy is now on there so you'll be editing seven to look from the top like that and what we're going to do is a to select all view to project from view always got to be on this side and then we're just going to go on to this side a to select all and just move it into place and a bit of scaling by pressing the s key and we've made our very first petal And as you can see there's an alpha transmission on there so you can actually see through the parts you can see it goes slightly beyond but you can see through it so let's just move this down into place so g and what we've got here i mean the, the petals on the real daisy they actually curled up sort of thing like that so we'll actually make this side curl up a bit so pressing the tab key go on to here you've got a little button up here called proportional editing so with that point selected proportional editing and g and c as you can see we've got an influence ring so depending where your influence ring is depends how the actual petal will bend so g and c i'm just going to move this down and it's up to you you just keep shaping your petal until you think yeah that's about the right shape and i'm just going to move this g and c just move it down into place this is about there right we've got the reference image it's a bit too close so i'm just going to move it down just out of the way just to actually so it makes it less confusing when i'm making this select this petal go on to layout and then go to object and we're going to set the origin to the 3d cursor right the 3d cursor is there which is the reason i put the actual center of the flower there and because we've actually made this now so its origin is the 3d cursor if i press the r key as you can see looking from the top this will go to any place so shift and d and rotate z and i'm just made a copy of it there and you can scale them up and make them into different sizes however you want and g just to move it back into place same with that shift and d what i tend to do externally what i tend to do is shift and d rotate them round on the z and just put them in different areas right what i'm doing is actually deciding on the daisy shift and d rotate z these daisies they all have different size uh, petals shift and d rotate z and you can do this by just actually changing the petals individually if you wish shift and d rotate z and as you can see shift and d rotate z i'm making different petals because what we've got here is we've got different petals 
some are on top some will be further down some will be further down than that so what we do is make those petals i'll take the image out and just hide it for the for a minute so we've got the petals there so what we can do is actually join these together like i say you can change the actual size of these so they all look different you can also add a modifier you can add a subdivision modifier but obviously the more subdivision you add to things the greater uh, amount of um, geometry will be added so if we actually now look at that look at that one a lot less geometry i subdivided the other one I see a lot more geometry it, it depends what you want so i'm just going to actually join these all together now and join shift and d to duplicate g and z just to move them down slightly the reason i've done that is now i can actually rotate these in the z solid if you press the z key it'll actually go into all sorts of different you know uh, modes rendered uh, it's just like a shortcut so just a quick check check the your origin is still in the actual center set it to 3d cursor and we can rotate these petals like that and i'm just going to duplicate these again shift and d g and z just to move them down a bit further and then rotate in the z And as you can see, Shift and D, rotating the Z. What I'm doing is actually just filling all the gaps in. And slowly and surely, you've made yourself your very own daisy. But as I mentioned earlier on in the tutorial, I oh, did I mention earlier on the tutorial, but now I'll show you an actual quick way of actually achieving the daisy effect for the ones that are in the distance and don't need as much detail. So we've created that first daisy and say that's the daisy in your foreground. Now we'll just you can just rotate it however you want. It's a moving. This proportional editing thing's quite useful. Now because you can actually grab things like that and then just move them and obviously you can actually rotate things as well so i'm just going to join these all together just to actually make my daisy and just join it together rotate it like that now oh, i've quickly and easily made my daisy now, let me show you the actual quick way to make this daisy so i'm just going to undo this to actually just move the stem back into the correct place so we've got all this um in fact i'll separate just keep doing it until everything's separate right so i'm going to delete all the actual petals now like that so say you've got your petals here and you just want to actually make a quick and easy daisy for the background without actually having to model every single petal and everything like that this is where the second technique comes in so i'm just going to add in a object add in mesh and what we're going to do is add in a circle i'm just going to scale this circle so we can see it so we've got the circle tab to press into edit mode e to extrude oh no so you've got to make sure that you've got line selected up here A to select all, E to extrude, S to scale, and we're just going to scale it down like that. And what we'll do is we're going to just grab that G and Z just to move it up like that. Right, looking from the top into edit mode, A, U to project from view. And then what we can do is go into UV editing. A, make sure you've got all selected. 
view to project from view and just make sure that actually covers your old um, daisy and all we need to do is then add in the texture that we created for the daisy and what we've done there is we've now go to object uh, go to layout again we've quickly added our petals shift and D just to duplicate E and Z just to move it down just give some more petals rotate in the Z E and Z just to move it up a bit as you can see we've quickly and easily made a different daisy and you might prefer that one Join. It depends how many you want to do. Obviously this there has got a hell of a lot less geometry in it. And if you've got a field full of daisies, let me scale these down just to make them fit better. If you've got a field full of daisies, that might be the way you want to go. I'm just going to scale this down because oh, proportional editing is on still. Control C. Under the proportional editing. I'm just going to select this because there's a little bit of yellow showing out there. So I'm just going to scale this G and just move it into the center. Same with this one. L scale. And you've made yourself a very own daisy. All right, so let me do this again from scratch. All right, so we want to make a big daisy. So we'll actually create our circle again. So I want to make a huge daisy now. So add an object, add mesh, circle, scale our circle up. Press the tab key, get us into edit mode. Tab E to extrude, S to scale. Make a quick daisy, G and C. So we're making a huge daisy this time. Get our ring, make sure it actually goes on the inside of this and scale this down. Right. So going to UV editing again. We need to actually add the image in. So we've added the image in. It takes a couple of seconds for it to work it out. Press the tab key. And as you can see, it must be over in the black of something. So looking from the top, view, project from view. Same again, scale this nice and big, scale, and as you can see that dot in the middle needs to actually move to the edges, it's going to move this to there, and then what I'm going to do is select that middle circle, scale it up, and just move it into the right position just scale it up just about there and then if we go back into layout as you can see you've made yourself a really huge daisy and shift and D just to move that down G and Z and rotate it just as we did before I'm just going to scale them down a little bit Make us usually a little bit smaller. And there you have it. We've made ourselves a quick and easy daisy. With next to no geometry. And the other good thing about this geometry is it's all good geometry. In other words, if you look at it, the topology is really good. So I like the rectangles and no triangles, apart from the very center here. And if you want to add a little bit of uh, dent to this, you go on the prevention. Onto the proportional editing in G and C. I'm just going to move that down the influence ring and just put a little dent in the size center of my daisy. 
please subscribe to my channel and don't forget hit the like button bye for now stop it up Well, let me just stop that recording. Otherwise, it's been recording for hours.